Hi guys, welcome back to a new video series. I had been thinking of creating something unique and spiritual. So here I came up with this idea of creating a two-piece resin art with crystals. The prime colors for this art will be Nor and Deep Blue. This video will show you how I made these magnificent crystals with liquid diamond and alcohol inks. I have made many crystal clusters for this project that one of my client want. It's gonna be a crystal resin art and a separate personalized wall clock. I will be making a series of four videos for this art since it is a huge project. The first video, which is this one, will be about making of crystals. The second one will be making the resin art itself. The third video, I will do calligraphy and gold gilding over the resin art. And the fourth and the last video will be about making a wall clock. Before we proceed, make sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Let's dig more into our today's video that is about making of crystals. I have made these various molds especially for this art. This mold is for three distinct crystal clusters. The crystals here are thin and slender. The second mold is a combination of broad and narrow crystals. This one consists of all large crystals. These two tiny ones form clusters of seven tiny crystals in each mold. I am using liquid diamond for this project. The resin to hardener ratio is two by one here. It is easy to disperse the resin with this pump. Thanks to my fellow artist, Angela Saka, who introduced me to the beautiful resin, the liquid diamond from the epoxy resin store. One can make beautiful crystals with this resin. You guys may already know Angela Saka. She is a very popular and an incredible artist. Please go and check out her channel. I will add her channel link in the description below. Next, we mix the resin and pour it into two separate clear cups. For the pigments, I am adding alcohol inks. This is Pinata's metallic black. This is gentian, which is deep blue color from Marabou. This is Baja blue from Pinata. And I will be mixing these colors with Marabou glitter ink, violet blue green. In the first cup, I am dispersing few drops of metallic black. Stir it well till there are no streaks or lines of ink stain. It's evenly mixed now. Next, I'm adding in glitter ink. Shake the bottle well. The advantage of adding alcohol glitter ink over the glitters themselves is that the glitter particles in the ink will be evenly dispersed and the resin will look very shiny. In the second cup, I am adding a lot of gentian and a couple of drops of Baja Blue. Add the glitter ink and mix them well. I am using a teeny tiny bit of this embossing powder, Vintage Blue from Ray Collections. I am immersing the tip of the toothpick in the resin, wetting it and dipping it in the glitter bottle and slowly detaching these glitters in the mold at the few crystal tips. I hope this will add to the sparkle to those crystals. This embossing powder is a part of our main project and I am using it to match the crystals with those colors.
Preheat the mold and the resin with a heat gun. Pouring the blue resin in each mold. I am now filling the rest of the molds with the metallic black resin. I have left the molds aside for a day for the resin to cure and now taking out the crystals from the mold. This one is a big with lots of broad and narrow crystals. The crystals here are branching out so it is little challenging to come out. You can see the mold is being torn on one side but it's okay. With a little patience one can take out the crystals from the mold. It's finally out and looks fantastic. The smaller ones are pretty easy to demold. This one have a flowery pattern and I love it. This is a large one. I mean it came out quick because the crystals here are straight and not branching out as the previous one. And here the final one. This is the advantage of making our crystals. One can add any color and give it a preferred shape. You can see the resin is very translucent and the glitters from the Marabou glitter ink are evenly dispersed. This adds to a unique shininess. I have added the blue pigments in various range by playing around with gentian and baja blue proportions to get a gradient of deep blue colors. I have poured a lot of crystals and I need to pour many more for this upcoming art. I will update you guys soon on this project. The next video on this series will be about pouring the resin on the wood and attaching these beautiful crystals. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon to all so that you are notified when I launch my next video of this upcoming unique and fabulous resin art. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye.